guys, hopefully this one's recording. So we're gonna look at a breakdown with my boy Isaac out of Cabrina BJJ. And um, if you guys like to see more breakdowns like this, please let me know in the comments. So we got Isaac uh, with the double guard pull. He's gonna stay on bottom. His opponent comes on top for the advantage. And man, Isaac is a very aggressive guy, man. Passing and on bottom, you know, attacking for that ankle lock, man. Attacking for that thing. So hopefully you guys can see it. He's got this, um, you see this inside hook with his left leg. And so almost like a single leg X guard. And he uses that to really elevate for the, the uh, ankle lock. He hasn't gone for it yet, but he, he, you see he's ready to go for it soon. His inside leg is across the body. And uh, this is just a hard guard to pass. And, man, you know, you guys cannot sit there on top. You, can, you need to either sweep yourself or be prepared to defend that ankle lock because a lot of guys just sit there. You see how the guy's ankle's just kind of floating up there? Man, sit and duck. So uh, we're just kind of a little stuck here in this position. Isaac's still working that that left leg uh, hook, almost like a butterfly hook almost, but on the outside. And like an almost an Ashi single leg X guard. He's got the far pant. So notice his right hand's got that pant and that, that makes it hard to posture up the pass and makes it hard to move. So man, that's a key detail. So Isaac's, Isaac's starting to grab around that ankle and there's so many different grips. Um, I've been experimenting with ankle locks for a bit, but it's still pretty tough to hit them in competition sometimes. Um, but you know, they're usually, you know, these guys like Isaac and, and, uh, you know, Mikey, Mikey Muzumechi, our Frigatoni, they like to really bite up high and it becomes almost like an Aoki lock. Um, so, you know, and where people feel the pain is completely different. Some people feel the pain in their ankles. Other people feel it in their knees. You can see Isaac let go of the far pant with his right hand. And now he's on the same side leg. And he's using that to help adjust the leg for the ankle. And so I, I bet there's a lot of pressure on that ankle right now. And so you see how the guy's defending his foot straight up like that. He's putting the boot on. That That's not how you defend this position, guys. You need to turn your foot in like you're going to do a roundhouse kick to the ribs. So I... This guy not gonna get out, but <laughs> and then Isaac goes back to that far pan, so his his opponent can't stand up, and yeah, and right now Isaac's kind of high, you know, kind of almost up on the calf, so it's in the crook of his elbow, but he probably he's probably gonna elevate his his opponent soon and start choking lower on the ankle, and his attacking arm, his left arm is grabbing his his cross collar grip, so very strong position i i have some trouble staying here like this but man isaac is persistent he, and he's not he's not going to give up on it you see he's been holding this position for you know i don't know how long now about three minutes <laughs> it's been three minutes almost and um you know when you're on top this just wears you down man like you can defend the ankle lock for a little bit but you know three four five minutes you know that thing gets tired and so isaac you know he could off balance a little bit I think he's working that left hook that, you know, I'm going to call it like a butterfly, almost like De La Hiva type hook. He's using that and the inside leg is just blocking his opponent's hip. And so I think Isaac uses that a lot of times. We'll have to find a different video, but he uses that a lot of times to um, to like elevate his hips off his partner's hip, his, his opponent's hips. Um, but yeah, man, I, whew, I hope I don't get caught in that position no time soon. <laughs> I need my ankles, man. I can't be out here with no ankles. Uh, yeah. Um, there we go. So he, he off balances. And now this is where the attack's going to start coming to play. So the leg that was across the body, Isaac switches, his, switches that right leg to the hip. And he's using that to kind of keep him away. But his opponent manages to get back up. But you can kind of see what Isaac's looking for. Off balance pressure on the hip elevate with the inside hook and then you know his opponent tries to turn but at, by trying to pull out and turning you actually let isaac get a better bite on the ankle so let's look at that again hopefully i can rewind it for you guys let's see i don't know dun, dun, dun. guys you don't want to go that direction <laughs> don't go that direction guys you're gonna see the guy kind of goes towards his left 
And Isaac gets a better bite on the ankle. Yeah, you see? Yeah. And tap, tap, tap. Hey, yo, that ankle lock's real. That's a real move right there, guys. That's a real move right there. So, yeah, guys, if you would like to see more breakdowns like this, I feel like on YouTube this is kind of the trend right now. That's just the trend of what everybody's doing. I've seen some other guys, you know, some white belts that are just doing breakdowns. And, uh, man, their, their channels are growing. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. Feedback, guys. Give me feedback. Until next time, peace out and ciao.